Okay, so we've got our spaces. I'm going to talk through all three of these spaces individually. Um, then we're going to do a little bit of algebra, um, and then we'll switch to our studio to do something a little bit more concrete. So this is like a little bit more um, conceptual or, or theoretical. So I'm going to start with the log odd space. This is the logit. Um, and the log odds uh, are the log of pi over one minus pi, that's the odds. And um, logistic regression is linear in log odds space. So I have um, this graph and this is using that football uh, data. So this is the log odds of making, uh, making a field goal. Just call it something like that. Um, and then we've got the distance. So uh, we've got uh, a linear uh, version, and it's got the same kind of equation that we've seen for linear regression before. So um, this is useful. This is good uh, because you can use the same sentence from linear regression linear regression. So if you wanted to interpret that beta one coefficient, you could say a one unit increase in x, which is the explanatory variable, um, is associated oops, with a beta one hat uh, unit, uh, I don't know if I even want to put units there. I'm going to take that off. A beta one hat increase or decrease in the log odds of Y, which is the response. So I took the units uh, off of the beta one hat there because I actually don't know what the units, once you have the log odds, like, I don't know. I don't think there's units there. I think it's just log odds of, of whatever. So, um, so that's good because you get to use the same sentence, uh, but it's bad because the sentence doesn't make much sense to most people. It doesn't make intuitive sense intuitive sense. So most humans don't have a sense for what it means for your log odds to go down in this case. So, you know, for a one yard increase in distance, the log odds go down by however much the slope is. And we don't know how, how big that is, like if that's a big deal or not. Um, so, so this one is not super useful in that way. Um, so a, a slightly better one is the odds space. So this one, you know, on the previous slide, I had the log of pi over one minus pi was equal to beta zero plus beta one x. And if I want to get from the log odds to the odds, I need to get rid of that log. So I exponentiate both sides and that gets rid of the log. And so here's the equation for the odds. Pi uh, over one minus pi is equal to e to the that sort of linear regression equation that we're used to seeing. So this is what the odds graph looks like. If the odds, uh, you know, if the slope is negative, then the odds are going to be decreasing and they're going to be, you know, sort of like at infinity and then they're going to asymptote at zero. Um, the other way that the odds can go is it comes from zero and goes to infinity. The y-axis here is the odds of, you know, making a goal. And uh, this is useful because the interpretation makes more sense. So this is good because the interpretation is more intuitive, I'll say. It's not the same sentence as we've had for linear regression, but it's, it's pretty good. So we would say a one unit increase in x is associated with changing or really multiplying the odds of 
y by a factor of e to the beta 1 hat. Um, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of algebra for like why it is e to the beta 1 hat. Um, but for right now, we'll just kind of leave that sentence. So as x increases, you multiply the odds uh, by a factor of um, this exponentiated beta 1 hat. And uh, we'll see this when I get a little bit more concrete. But um, thinking about changing the odds is something that humans have more intuition about. I think we're still not great at um, uh, you know, thinking about odds and, and probabilities. That's not kind of like the strong suit of, of humans, but um, we're better at it than log odds. And then our last space is the probability space. So uh, this one, you know, on the previous slide, I had pi over one minus pi was equal to e to the beta zero plus beta one x. And then pi is the probability. So if I need to solve for pi, I'm just going to run through it quickly uh, to convince you that I didn't uh, you know, make a mistake here. Um, but you don't really need to know the algebra. Um, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 minus pi. And then I get pi is equal to e to the beta 0 plus beta 1x times 1 minus pi. And I could distribute that e to the beta 0 plus beta 1x minus e to the beta 0 plus beta 1x pi. Oh, man. Now I'm making a mess. Um, and then I'm going to add this to both sides, e to the beta 0 plus beta 1x pi to get all the pi stuff on the same side. So now I've got pi plus e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x pi is equal to e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x. And then I need to factor out this will be um, 1 plus e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x times pi is equal to e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x. And then I divide by 1 plus e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x on both sides. And I say pi is equal to e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x over 1 plus e to the beta 0 plus beta 1 x. I basically run through it because sometimes people think that I've gotten the wrong sign down here. That this should be a minus rather than a plus. But when you actually run through it, uh, you see that you end up adding it and dividing. And so this is the correct equation. But if you just believe me that that's it, then you can just write that down. So um, obviously, this is getting like really complicated. Um, but uh, so this has like both sort of good and bad. Um, the good is we're back in a space where we can plot the data. Um, we can plot the data directly uh, because the, the ones where they made the field goal, that's like 100% probability. And the ones where they didn't make the field goal, that's like a 0% probability. And then we're going to have this S-shaped curve in between, which is going to be bounded by 0 and 1. Um, and, and those uh, those predictions are going to be probabilities. So with the odd space and the log odd space, I didn't have any data points on those um, because I, I don't have you know, the log odds uh, of, of something occurring or the odds of something occurring. All I have is, did it occur or did it not occur? Um, OK. And then the bad thing uh, about this space is we don't have a nice sentence. Um, I don't have a way to say, like, you know, for this happening, this happens to the probability. Uh, there's just, there's no, there's no nice sentence in probability space. We can't interpret the coefficients in that space, unfortunately. 